Hello adventure lovers and welcome to a walk through the conversion. This is your host Vidushi. If you're new here, Motorhome Adventures is a 25 plus year old company that rents and builds all things home on wheels and more. Ranging from a club on wheels to an election campaign vehicle to a food truck and of course caravans and motorhomes. A fun fact though is that although we've created a lot of identical luxury buses and a couple of clubs on wheels for our client based up at Nepal, we have never created an identical caravan apart from the one that we created for Madhya Pradesh tourism back in 2015. So all the conversions that you see here on our channel are one and only one that exists. I'll touch base on this later in the video. Speaking of conversion, out of our many series, a walk through the conversion is where you and I get to have a detailed walk through our conversions. So without further ado, let's walk through the conversion. Based on a Traveler 3700 wheelbase, Euro 6 engine, black, brown and white stripes painted on a champagne base, channeling the Golden City energy. Name is Shiloh. Which means peace or heavenly peaceful, which is the energy we all need to channel right now and something you can attain when you're renting Shiloh for your next getaway. On the top, we have done some exterior customization. We have cameras on all fours, ensuring your security and safety at all times. Now, moving to the cabin. The dashboard is as is because that was the preferred way. We have redone the seating as well as the roof using art leather. And there's an intercom in both salon area as well as the cabin for communication purpose because there's a hard partition between both the areas. The AC unit as well is completely different in both cabin and salon area, ensuring seclusion and complete privacy to the passenger traveling on board. And what else? We have lights, we have another dome camera in the cabin. The complete cabin area is where the control panel is at. Now, this is something that we have provided in a few of our monocoque shell based conversions. This is a control panel of a hydraulic leveling jack. So this is how it goes. There's one on each side, both on the front as well as the rear. Each can take a payload of up to two tons. It provides stability to your caravan when it's parked on an unleveled or unpaved surface. This is definitely your easy way out if you're stuck on an off-road track and if you're carrying these jacks, you won't have to carry a separate jack to change a flat tire. These function on a 12 volt DC supply. Speaking of which, we have upgraded the company fitted 100 AH battery to three 130 AH batteries. And we have also upgraded the 65 ampere alternator into a 150 ampere alternator. You do have the option of upgrading to a lithium ion battery, which is going to provide you more backup. Speaking of the batteries, the batteries are going to be charged through a solar panel that's fitted on the rooftop. We also have a luggage space or a luggage carrier that's on the roof. We're now on the driver's side. Moving to the rear, we have concealed window all through the sides. Because the windows are concealed, it looks more put together. Now moving to the rear of the caravan. The rear is where your kitchen is at. Right on top, you have your instant LPG heater, which heats six liter of water per minute. Up here, you have storage space to store your five liter blast proof cylinder. It's a smart way of creating storage space even in the little given area. Now this is where your drop down kitchen is at. Unbolting and dropping we have our reinforced fiber based sink we have a two top stove and this right here is your storage compartment to store your groceries 
it is currently empty but you have ample storage space to store your groceries and currently we are storing our faucet in here which you can take out slide it in connect both the pipes for a cold as well as a hot water supply and you're good to go this right here is where your rear jacks are at now moving to the co-driver side where you have the entryway before we talk about the rear co-driver side i just wanted to mention that we also have a spare tire and a bicycle carrier similar to what we've provided in new and closing this door this right here is where we have our 200 liter fresh water tank storage output and this here is our genset it's eu30 is silent petrol genset which can be slid out underneath you can see we also have an electric outsource supply which you can use in case your vehicle is stationary at a spot where you have the electric supply and you do not require a genset in that case on the top we have our awning which again is locked from both sides you can manage the overall height you can manage the overall inclination point and right here we have our motorized staircase it is similar to what we have provided in willow as well which leads us to the entryway now we'll be coming back to this seating area in a minute but before that let's head to the rear section the rear is where we have our storage compartment this one right here and this one right here is a vanity setup now the overall intention with shiloh was a three days getaway not a three month long vacation so this storage space right here and the space that we have inside the sofa is sufficient for a family of four we've said this many times but if you're renting a caravan that does not have the basic amenities like a sleeping seating kitchen area and most importantly a bathroom area then you're renting just a vehicle and you should definitely not get con for paying double for that vehicle in the name of a caravan the complete information about the technology that we use in our bathroom is going to be mentioned either in the description box or in a link somewhere right here. Now we'll get inside the bathroom area. The complete body is made out of a reinforced fiber panel. It's a unibody setup connected throughout the bathroom area plus on the commode setup as well. The commode is made out of pneumatic activating wall waste technology. And again, all the links describing the technology that we use are going to be mentioned in the description box. Now, this is a dinky but well-designed sink setup. Keep in mind, we are working here with a 3700 wheelbase. So it's much smaller than 4020 wheelbase. And that is why we've done the best with the space we have. So this is your faucet, but it also acts as a... shower area when required here we have a decent size mirror which has vanity lights on the side providing you that mood that you require for your nighttime routine and we have other amenities such as a soap dispenser a toothbrush dispenser a towel holder a soap holder back on the back side here we have a lower window that provides you enough ventilation and on top of that it has blinds to conceal Well, that does it for the bathroom area. Coming out from the bathroom setup, we have our acrylic top glass holder right here. On the top, we have a microwave and a customized 50 liter fridge, underneath which we have another storage compartment. Now, moving to the last space of this caravan. So, in our seating area, we have a 1.1 ton static AC 
which powers through an electric outdoor supply or a genset that we have showed you in the exterior. We have a 32 inches TV on which you can see the recording of your camera. We have a smart music system, Google navigation and GPS. We also have the mood lights setting the vibe of the caravan, changing it from a seating area to a lounge space. And other than that, we have charging sockets, we have an intercom and roll down blinds. Now converting our normal seating setup into a dining area, we have our lagoon table right here. You simply need to undo it from the hooks. Place this right here. This is your table that you can store in the storage area. And voila. Now apart from that, we also can convert this area through a pull-out sofa come bedding area into a sleeping space for two people. So we've got a lot of positive feedback from our clients who have rented Willow regarding this fiber reinforced panel which serves as a storage and acts as a great aesthetic stating that this is a great space to store your knickknacks so we've also provided that in shiloh but again we've kept the dimensions as per shiloh's overall exterior now if you're a keen observer you must be wondering that throughout the video we've been mentioning that shiloh is a comfortable home for sleeping four people and seating six people including the driver and helper so where is the other bed eyes to the ceiling What looks like nothing converts into a sleeping space for two people. So we can climb onto our rooftop bed using these ladders which are stored on our rooftop luggage carrier. A sleek yet a sturdy build which can take a payload of up to 250 kilos. I weigh 54 kilos which means this can take 5 of me. Who knew anchoring on the show I will have to share my body weight. But anyways, so I am 5'6"-ish and as you can see, I can easily sleep in and I have enough headroom. The exact same design has been created on the original and the false ceiling. Now the false ceiling is not visible at all times but it does add to the uniformity of the overall caravan. And as we say, the devil is surely in the details. And that does it for this walkthrough. Now if you are up for a quick chat and want to know about our building procedure, join in. I'll be sitting for this one. So in the beginning of the video, I had mentioned how this caravan and all the other caravans that we have built is accustomed to the user specifications, which means that there is one and only one that exists. First things first, Motorum Adventures is not some private limited firm. It is a proprietorship business legally, but before that, it is a dream of a couple who turned it into reality. So the intention was never to make money out of it. Fulfilling their dream almost 28 years ago, we started by creating people's dream home into a reality. 
And that is exactly what we've been doing. When you're building with Motorhome Adventures, there's a dedicated research and development team that's taking care of the technical aspects of your dream home, no matter how tricky it is. We don't have fixed molds or fixed setup that we can go by our day by placing and replicating over and over again and again because that is not something that we do and something that is luxurious for someone is going to be too loud for some other person. The point of this conversation is to deliver the information that when we are doing the R&D, we are investing our time, our energy and our money into creating something that provides you utmost satisfaction. And we do not import stuff for a specific reason. The drop down bed that you have seen, the expansion that you have seen in Willow, all of these are hashtag made in India. And we do this for particular reasons. One, the quality of the product that we build is made for Indian road conditions. Second reason, as we've mentioned multiple times, each and everything is a custom to a specific requirement and importing those specific requirements is not something that's possible. And the third and the most important reason is when you're creating something in-house, you're not only creating it in-house, but also bringing business or catering to the business of a local vendor. And it is about time that we appreciate the local vendors and contribute to their business. All these factors come with a price and that is why our prices, be it in regards with rental or in regards with building, are much higher. We acknowledge that, but we at the same time pride ourselves of the quality that we provide. So that is all I'm going to say about that. If you've stayed this long, thank you so much. We deeply appreciate your support and we're happy to announce that Shiloh is currently live on our website and available for rental for your next getaway. And if you're interested in getting this or a similar asset bill, then you can find the information related to building as well as rental linked in the description box below. We've got a lot of feedback from you guys to keep the walkthroughs detailed and that's what we've tried to do with this one. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for we will be posting many more fun conversion and travel videos in the home away home on wheels. Thank you so much for coming by. Motorhome Adventures, signing off. <laughs>